This world ain't right, won't accept it Negative energy, I expect it Once it's in your mind, it's infectious So fight for your life and reject it You better give me space, I'm protective My adrenaline spikes when I'm threatened And if you stay in my way, I'm aggressive Cause when there's no legs, it'll kill when I'm desperate This is your reading. If it doesn't resonate, check your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter, you guys. Keep in mind the energies are fluid, so it can go vice versa. Please do not get hung up with the signs or genders. All right. Let's see what we got for Taurus. What is your message? What do you need to hear at this time? <clears throat> I have to stand up right now, you guys. So I hope you guys can see cards. Okay, so we have, you are good enough, full moon in Virgo. Wow, that doesn't seem like you to not feel like you're good enough. I don't know why I'm getting like for somebody, you are not necessarily in this energy, but it's, there's a need to remind yourself, okay? I, I don't know if you have to do, if you have to use like positive affirmations to trick, I don't want to hear, not trick yourself. That sounds horrible. Um, no, because you are good enough. It's not a trick, okay? Um, I just feel like you guys are in your head a lot and you need to get out of your head. So, like, yeah, because Virgo is, <laughs> Virgo is the analytical mind, right? So, I don't know, somebody, you know, see how the flowers are on top of her head there? You know, you be careful with your thoughts because they do grow. They do blossom. Um... I know that sounds really, yeah, I don't know, like, gosh, maybe the color green will help you, okay, wearing, em wearing emerald, wow, we have veiled, 38, wow, 8, so the number 11, the number 8 could be significant, or the 8, the, the number 11 could be significant, or just the number 1, I'm hearing, yeah, somebody told me, um, who was it? God, I can't remember his name. He said, so nice, you're number one twice or something like that. 11 could be significant, or you could be a number one baby um, for somebody, or life path one, or you were born in the first, or the 11th, okay? Or you just have a, like, a strong connection to the spiritual realm, okay? A lot of you do. I mean, I'm going to say most of you do because you are here, obviously. But this is giving me that vibe like you're being spiritually attacked. Maybe you need to cover your crown chakra. You see that? You guys see what I'm saying? Like, you, someone's feeling like they're not good enough, but you know damn well you the shit. Like, <laughs> Taurus, you know you all that, all right? Come on. See, see you might need to wear a mask, I'm hearing. This mask is also giving me that vibe. Like, that's what you're dealing with. That's what you're dealing with. That's the kind of energy you're dealing with. Those are the type of people you're dealing with. People in robes. I'm hearing white robes. I'm hearing black robes. Okay. Um, They might be trying to make you crazy. What? They're using vanity? Okay, hold on one second. This is weird. Okay. Sorry, I had to pause the video, you guys. So I lost my spot. I lost my place, all right? So, okay. Yeah, okay, so these are the people. Some of you, it's the people you're dealing with. They have, like, masks, okay? They have masks. They, they're, you can't trust people. I mean, I don't trust people, okay? I don't trust anybody. I feel like you already know this, though, and... You can kind of feel like those emotions that you're, or those thoughts that keep entering. I'm hearing your, your thoughts. They are not yours. I'm hearing they're not your thoughts. Okay. For somebody here, like this is like, this is like, a, they want you to know, you know, like you're beautiful. You're good enough. You're smart enough. All right. And I'm going to go as far to say like, you're the best. Because, you know, you're Taurus, ruled by Venus, you're a Venus 
world sign. You guys are, you, I'm sorry, but like Venus is high vibrational, okay? I don't care what your aesthetic is. Whatever your aesthetic, doesn't matter. It's about the heart, right? It's what's on the inside. And you have a good heart. I feel like someone around you that bothers them, you know, they're wearing a mask because they know. Also, if you're intuitive, like they know, like they have to keep this mask on. So I feel like they're psychically attacking you. They're learning how to, oh my God, someone is trying to learn divination in order to attack you because they, and they're doing this from a distance because they know like you're so intuitive that you'd be able to pick it up, pick up on it. Like if they were around you, they know that you would pick up on this energy. Like you would be able to, you would be able to decipher where that negative, where the negative thoughts are coming from. You'd be able to tell it's coming from this person. Like they don't want you to believe that you're beautiful. They don't want you to believe that you're smart. They don't want you to believe that you are um, capable. Because then that would make you unstoppable. So, you know, like. If somebody is projecting to, I'm hearing if you are seeing the number 4442 four, four specifically um, for those who feel like they're being attacked spiritually, all right? 444 four, four is about protection. It could be guiding you and letting you know that you need to, to focus more on protection. Like, I don't know, I'm hearing like something around black candles. Um, gosh, what is going on? Hold on one second. Yeah, like protection candles, okay? Like, if you know how to do it, you, you know, do it, but, um, or look into it, research it. Okay. Because I feel like if you're seeing 444, it is for some of you letting you know you are protected, but others of you, it's telling you, you need to take precautions. All right. Because I feel like someone around you, they're throwing that evil eye at you. Cause you know, look at, look, notice that the color is green. Okay. I heard this person is green with envy. This individual is like really dark. Yeah. Someone also could be using drugs to like, oh my God, why did I hear drugs? Why does this give me like Unabomber vibes though? Like, <laughs> okay, first of all, I don't know why I'm hearing drugs with this. <laughs> this looks like an alien too. I'm getting a lot of shit from this one card. This is crazy. Someone is studying you. Okay, like, wow, this is really crazy. I just saw, oh, wow. So, like, a hacker? There's a lot. I'm getting a lot from this card. This card is giving, it's crazy. There's more going on in this card. But this one has, like, <laughs> this energy, dude. Like, what is going on? I see black robes, people who study aliens, people who are, are aliens that are studying you. <laughs> Okay, so um, I'm getting two for uh, someone who I'm not really like familiar with all that, you know, extraterrestrial information. I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about UFOs, um, you know, Anunnaki and all that stuff. I don't know about that stuff, okay? But I'm getting for someone who belongs to a certain family, they're wanting you to know you are good enough because you come from... I'm hearing Prey Mantis. This looks like Prey Mantis to me. Like if Prey Mantis was a person, this would th this is what I would think. This is what I would see. Like if Prey Mantis was a person. And you know, Prey Mantis is Virgo. You know, Virgo is information. Prey Mantis is information. Prey Mantis is connected to um, extraterrestrials, aliens. I'm even going to go, um, yeah, I'm hearing Thoth, God Thoth. I'm hearing Aquarius. Yeah, information, intelligence agency, CIA. I'm hearing like you could be studied because you are really good at blocking this energy. Of I'm hearing you could be blocking someone who is throwing this at you. Look at it. She's so peaceful, right? Look how pe look at how peace. Look how at peace she is, and look at this person so focused. I feel like if they saw you, if you saw this person, like, it would feel like they were trying to burn a hole in your soul, you know? Like, this person is, yeah, the veil card is definitely saying you need to protect yourself, okay? Because I feel like someone around you, 
I'm going to read this. Hold on. Where's my book at? Where's my veil? Is this the one? Yeah, this is it. Okay. Let me go ahead and read it really quick because the energy I'm getting is not good. It's the number 11, though. It's like you really tapped into this, the spiritual realm. And you're very gifted, Taurus, all right? If you were, like, in your head about your abilities, get out of your head because I feel like that's blocking you from pursuing something that's going to bring you a lot of abundance in your life, okay? Wow. Interesting. What does that say? Veiled. All is not being revealed at this time. Is someone around you hiding or holding back information or an aspect of themselves? Please use caution in proceeding. Like I said, I'm getting, that's the energy I'm getting. See, these cards, I don't even know these cards yet. Like, I don't even know these cards yet, but that's the energy I was picking up. Or perhaps the mask is inviting you to be more protective of what you share. Draw another card. I'm not drawing another card. Okay, we are not doing that. <laughs> Anyways, this mask is, um, it can vary from culture, culture to culture and are used for adornment, altered statues, consciousness, ritual, and disguise. You might need to wear a disguise. You might need to pretend like you don't know what's going on. Okay. I love you guys. If you guys are connecting to a Scorpio specifically, definitely check out that reading. Okay. Cause I got, um, yeah, that reading from last week, check out their reading. If you, especially if you're like a Scorpio Pluto or Scorpio, um, you know, Scorpio Pluto generation, you can always watch the Scorpio readings, okay? It's, 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 that's its natural rulership. So you should definitely, I encourage you to watch those readings if you are a Scorpio Pluto generation, meaning you're born between 1990, 1984 to 1995, okay? Yeah, so like, um, like part of 1983. To 1995, okay? Yeah. You're the Scorpio. You guys are all Scorpio Pluto generation. Definitely watch those Scorpio readings, okay? I know, like, even if you're connected to one, and I don't care. Like, I don't care if you're connected or not, but um, you should definitely watch it because it's all about you. You're a very powerful generation, okay? So, like, I, I, I don't know. Okay, because this veil card is giving me Illuminati, too. Like, I was mentioning in their reading, um... They were, I was basically telling them to play stupid, play dumb, like they don't know what's going on, but they know what's going on. So if you're watching that reading, um, comment over there, let me know, all right? And um, take advantage of your free personal readings down below. They are the first two links, actually three links, okay? We got a new one down there, and the new one is daily. You guys are going to really enjoy those. I hope you guys let me know. Do me a kindness and comment below. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Namaste.